All right, I'm Nick. Today we have that 120 paddle kayak right here behind me. The other day we made a walkthrough video in the garage. Um, it's a pretty nice kayak, okay? It's really, really simple, and that's the goal. I mentioned in that video that I wanted to go out and explore some areas. I want to go for a paddle. I want to access some places that I can't access via foot, and I want to go do some scouting for some hogs. And the 106 paddle kayak, which I mentioned was a great blank template, it's just pretty small. It doesn't paddle very well. It tracks terribly. So I wanted something that was a little bit bigger that I could add a rudder to the back of if I wanted to, has more room in general, and then say I get out here and I do find a hog or two and I wanna bring them back across the water with me, there's room to bring them back. That is important to me. I think it's a fantastic blank template, but we're gonna go out, we're gonna paddle it. Unlike the pedal kayak videos, I typically just step in the kayak and go off to pedaling. Well, you gotta paddle this bad boy, so I'm gonna put the camera on a different mount and then we're gonna go out and see how it paddles do some exploring. We're gonna drag it across an area just to see how well it portages. And I already drug it down this hill back here with you know, no issues or anything like that. Uh, I think it'll do well. I'm looking forward to it, okay? We're off. Now remember, I haven't been in it. I haven't paddled it before. I got the camera on a little 23 inch ram mount. And we're off. It is beautiful out here. Now, I talked about it before. Look, paddle kayaks are still perfect kayaks for small bodies of water. Places that maybe it's difficult to access with a boat. Maybe it's difficult to access just because the drag's a bit longer than that drag and you don't want to bring your pedals and you don't want to have a battery you don't need a motor on the back of your kayak because we could be in here right now and i have fished this body of water before and we could be bass fishing or brim fishing um, there's catfish in here there's definitely some uh, crappie in here we could be doing that right now we're not we're going to explore but this kayak just being you know, a foot and a half longer than the 106, it tracks way better instantly. Well, I mean, that was the first thing I noticed in that 106 is it just didn't track very well. Um, it drifted funny. It just wasn't absolutely amazing, okay? So I'm gonna film it from this angle. We'll do some rambling. Uh, we can talk about stability. Uh, we'll stand up in a minute after I move the camera. Uh, but we're just gonna cruise down here. Remember, it's a, it's a paddle kayak, so we're not out here to win any races. I'm just cruising along, enjoying the morning. So you have a little spot right here. You guys may not be able to see it in this video, but you have a little spot that holds your paddle well. You have your foot pedals out here that I have mentioned. In the other videos, it gives you something to feed on, which is nice. But it will change the uh, camera angle, and you'll be able to see that better. You have a forward-facing rod holder right here. You have two rear-facing rod holders right here. Now, I changed this out for one of our replacement parts. Uh, that way, I could mount the camera right there here in a few minutes, just to give you guys a different angle. But, man, it paddles good. It paddles way better than I actually expected to paddle. I will tell you that I haven't paddled a kayak to go fishing much. I don't I do not do that, it's just not my thing. I typically pedal if the opportunity presents itself. Um, paddling is cool, but it's a bit inefficient in my mind. However, for something like this, the pedal drive would just be a burden. It would get in the way. I want to be able to come down here. I want to be able to get into this river of skinny water and I want to be able to drag a very light kayak. The pedal system does weigh 20 pounds. It adds a lot of weight. I don't need that for what I'm going to do. Maybe you live in a place that's a small body of water and you don't need a big old pedal drive or a motor in your way. Now let's get this camera switched around. All right, this angle will let you see this groove a bit more. That's kind of close, it's kind of in a weird spot. Oh, but that would allow you to put your paddle there. 
I do have my boots on because I'm about to get out and go for a walk. And well, snakes are a real thing. Uh, the foot controls up here. This would control your rudder if we had a rudder on it and had it set up right. However, they're just for support now. But you guys can go see the kayak paddles well. I'm trying not to hit that camera. Uh, the kayak paddles really, really well. And it's gorgeous out here. So, just cruising along. Very nice. Uh, stability wise, I would personally put seat rises on the seat, so it's pretty low. You also have a pull strap right there where you could help lift yourself up, but I still got the rubber band on that. Uh, stability wise, well, it's extremely stable. Nothing to worry about that. If you do anything you want to do, you could fish all day. Nothing of any kind of concern. Now, if you're not used to being in a kayak, the stability may be a concern for you, but I don't see that as an issue at all. Uh, it's not as stable as something like an autopilot or anything like that, but it is extremely stable. I like it. Simple, no thrills, quality built kayak. Uh, you do have internal storage you can see there i actually have uh my chest rig in there right now because once i get down through here i'm gonna put that on i'm gonna go for a long walk found a bunch of hog sign over here but i want to get down a whole lot further and uh see what i can find uh, i'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit you can see that it tracks extremely well the 106 Every time you stroked, the kayak would go back and forth. Now, it would be nice to be able to paddle all the way through here. However, that is not an option. So, we're gonna have to drag the kayak through here. I don't know what the best route is. In the past, I've just walked around. Uh, but I got my snake boots on for a reason. Because there's a whole lot of snakes out here. Let's see if we can make it. Just kidding. I brought that strap from the truck for this exact reason.
sides. Gorgeous through here. Kind of chilly this morning. It wasn't quite so chilly. I would definitely be going slower because the area is full of water boxes. second but let's just load across this section see kayak stable my feet aren't even in the kayak Camera's a little wonky. Let's fix that real quick. Now, places like this, that's what a paddle kayak is for. Um, you can get through everything we just came through with the pedal kayak or a motorized kayak. It's just way heavier. You got too many rods, you got too many tackle boxes. You can get in here. This is a place boats don't get to. You come, you fish it, you do what you gotta do. There's probably all kinds of fish in here. I didn't bring a fishing pole, it's not what I'm here for, but I guarantee you that there's fish out there. Now let's go find a place that I can uh, beat this kayak and go look for the water. Let's see if we can get through here without getting out. It's actually really deep right there.
I bet you certain times of year, stuff like this right here is just absolutely loaded with crappie. I've seen a bunch of gar on the surface. Remember, we're not here to fish. We're paddling a kayak. safe to assume that not very many people have been down briefly. Well, there's a log behind me too. Mark this location on the GPS so we can come on back. The kayak did a pretty good job though. All right, so as you can see, I made it back to the kayak. Now, I may or may not have been able to remember how wide this creek was. So I'm at the shimmy across that spot and hope for the best because it's a long walk before I get back around there to get back to that kayak. All right, so. I should have launched on this side. I I found what I wanted to find, but I found more stuff over here, and we're going across that creek. Kayak did great, okay? Kayak did great getting us here. In summary, it paddles well. The lighting is probably terrible because the sun is back there. It's stable, paddles well, it's light, you can drag it. I just finished going for like a three mile hike and I can still paddle it back and drag it with no issues. Now it's time for lunch, okay? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I like that kayak, not a bad little platform. <laughs>